Hey guys, just want to make a quick video about Blender geometry nodes. I uh, was doing some of the tutorials and I stumbled across some really cool results, so I wanted to share them. This is uh, basically the tutorial for creating rocks or whatever. They did a little bit different, but um, they did it created new geometry instead of um, using the existing geometry. But I like to use existing, which I'll show you in a second. Um, but it basically just takes a, a mesh line that's zero long and has count number of, of objects. Uh, and I'll show you the modifier in a second too. And then, so it, it makes a bunch of duplicates of the object, rotates them all a uh, random value. It just, you know, flips them all around randomly. And uh, by 6.283, that's two times pi, I think. Uh, so it's in radians. And then um, instances them and booleans them with each other. So it takes like whatever object you have, flips it all around, as many times as you want it to, and then does the intersection of all those things. So it's just like the, the intersection of all that. And uh, so that's what this is. So the way the tutorial worked was it just generated a cube, but I like to be able to modify the cube myself or the whatever geometry, because then you can do fun stuff. Um, and so then the, so that's a modifier on the object. Let's see, modifier over here. And uh, you can see that the count is three, which works pretty well. Um, if you, it's it's uh, geometrical time, so every time you add one, it doubles the amount of time processing. You can see here it's 3.8 milliseconds, or 380 at six. Uh, with three, it's only like 60 or 70 milliseconds, so that's 80 milliseconds. So it's it's pretty quick. It's pretty snappy uh, with three. And then I, uh, you notice the seed here is green. And so I animated it so that on each frame, it's a different seed. And uh, so it just, it just generates them, you know, you press go and it just generates them. Um, and what I found really cool about this is that one thing I changed um, is I added the scale factor here. Uh, you can see the scale factor for the transform. And that's an input here. So you can take the same geometry. So these are all the same geometry. It's all the same input geometry. So if I change one of these, like let's say uh, we'll put a, a little crease in here. Uh, no. uh, three there and then uh, control minus. S. Just pull that down a little bit. You can see it modifies all of them. Uh, and so now all of them have that little crease in it. That's actually kind of cool. And uh, so they're all the same geometry. And then the way that I get these different outputs is that each one of these has a different scale factor. Well, that one's the default. Uh, this one's got a scale factor of 0.618 golden ratio, of course. And this is uh, double golden ratio down. And then this is golden ratio and double golden ratio up. And uh, so this is basically taking this whole thing and scaling it up like this. And that gives this result of these ending up being smaller and these ending up being larger, but they all have the same seed. So they all have the same kind of design, which is basically the orientation of the different instances of the object. And it just gives you this really cool progression I was um when I when I stumbled upon this I thought of the star citizen I thought of star citizen and the guns that they have it's it's like a, a designed series of things right because they all have the same uh the same set of of properties you know I don't really like that that uh that crease I put in there let's let's just cut that out cleaner this way it, you can play around with it um i'll put the I'll put the thing in the thing put the source so that uh that gives you this progression of oh and then i guess the the only other thing i did was i added some colors uh can't oh, let's see let's just disable this there we go i added some colors uh to the object so you can see the different faces so the the opposing faces are green side faces are gray and top and bottom are red and uh, so it gives you this this coloring that's you know a little bit of hint of green and then red and, and gray are the primary colors 
And uh, so anyway, it looks like a series of designed things where it's like, this is the small one and that's the big one, but it's not scaled up. It's the individual face sets are scaled up, essentially. And uh, so like here, there's actually fewer faces than over here because there are fewer of them intersecting. And like here, it's just the corner. And then like these faces are, are expanded out. So uh, I thought that was I thought that was really fun. So I had a lot of fun looking through these and like playing with different settings. This is kind of the what I settled on as, as a pretty good setting. I like having the, the angled faces on the sides. But again, you can change all this. It's all procedurally generated. So do something like that. And now you've got a whole, you know, and all of them are like that now. So I thought that was just the neatest thing that you could you could create these uh, series of similarly, let's see, I'm going to, there, similarly shaped, but uniquely, unique geometry objects. So, um, so that's cool. And then I was playing around with the spaceship generator. So let's go to that. So here's the spaceship generator. I've modified it from the example, um, but it's basically the same idea. It takes a, uh, some set of geometry and it um, it's got some it's got a fallback for if you don't have any geometry selected it creates a, a random set instances uh, just a random set of, of object in there and then uh, instances a bunch of other objects that are smaller um, in and then uh, makes a skeleton which is like the base layer but scaled down joins that all together uh, does a, some random rotation, cuts it in half, and mirrors it. And that gives you this. Um, and then you have control over the seed. So you can go over here, and you can just random seed, you know, whatever spaceship you want. And um, like I said, I modified it slightly from the, from the base design, and I've changed some of the parts a little bit. But this is, it's basically just that. Then you could add engines and things, but I haven't I haven't done any of that. What I have been playing with though, oh, they're just so cool. What I have been playing with though is um let's see, what was this at? Negative 126. Yeah. Um just playing with a few other designs. So again, the idea of a series of like designs. So you can see here we've got like little scout and uh, maybe a cruiser and a destroyer and a carrier whatever um, and these are all using the same seed so these are all at seed of negative 116 so that the same base setup is used but then I uh, scale the complexity the complexity is just the density of the greebles so if you turn this all the way down um, it's just the base geometry you can see there's there's no subtraction happening and then uh, you know as you scale that up it gets more and more complicated and so this is it's, uh, complexity 1.9 this one's a complexity of 0.12 so you can scale it up to get more more of the subtraction in the the surface and then I also scale the greeble scale down so that the size of the uh, of the greebles would be about the same across these ones so it doesn't look like you're just scaling it up and you've got like a bigger thing it's like made of smaller parts or, or whatever and uh so that is just super cool and again you can you can change all of these uh let's see actually i don't know if you can can you change all of them at once i think you might be able to yes <laughs> hold down alt and so now, now you've got a series of these ships that you can just, you know, have a, a different design for all of them. And so I just think that's the best. That's just so cool. Uh, so I'm planning on playing with this a bit more, maybe adding a set for engines, um, and maybe a set for cabins, maybe a set for like cargo containers or something. And then you could, you know, play with the scales and the proportion of those things and how much are on the ship. Um, but this is just... This is just so much fun. I, I love this. I love this so much. That's great. 
Oh, oh so let's look at uh, the, I guess the last thing would be, um, oh, I've got it turned off. There we go, the parts. So these are the parts that these are all made of. So there's, uh, there's four, well, you can't see them very well there. Um, there's four parts. I don't know, can you move these? Nope, they're gonna, they're gonna get all goofed up. Oh, well. We'll delete this anyway. So there's four parts, this kind of cockpit, uh, let's just do that, there. This kind of cockpit looking thing, this long, um, long wedge, this kind of wedge looking thing is more of a blocky looking thing. And so those are, that's all it's made of. It's just these things duplicated around and, you know, copied around. And uh, yeah, ugh, uh, ugh, so fun. Okay, so now it's like bonkers, stupid, but we'll fix it. We'll fix it a little later. Uh, anyway, thanks guys. This is uh, this is really fun. I've been I've been having a lot of a lot of enjoyment playing with the geometry nodes. So hopefully we'll be doing some more of this stuff soon.